My name is Larry Ajayi, and I'm reaching you now on channel 1973.1 DT on people, places, and events. This is My City Speaks to Me, the Calgary edition. Coming to you right now from the out of downtown Calgary, the municipal building to be precise, in one of the plus 15 walkway systems. Calgary's Plus 15 Skywalk is one of the most extensive indoor pedestrian always of its kind in the world, spanning a distance of more than 18 kilometers, level miles, and consisting of more than every three interconnecting bridges. These numbers are growing every year, especially with the many ongoing downtown skyscraper constructions. The elevated walkway system was conceived in the late 1960s by the Calgaryan architect named Arrow Annan, who worked for the City of Calgary Planning Department from 1966 to 1969. It conceived what will later become the Plus 15 pedestrian walkway, a system of indoor walkways linking downtown buildings, so named because of the majority of them were 15 feet above ground level. Plus 15, as it's popularly called, is actually known as Plus 15 Skywalk System, according to the City of Calgary Bylaw Number 33, P 2013. The first official Plus 15 bridge was built in 1970, connecting Calgary in now Western Hotel to Calgary Palace across Fourth Avenue Southwest, an environmentally controlled public pedestrian walkway system. It consists of plus 15 skywalk system walkways and plus 15 skywalk system bridges that operate through and between buildings in downtown Calgary area. Most of the bridges and walkways built 15 feet above the street below. Some have additional walkways above 15 feet. Hence, they take on the name of plus 30 and plus 45. Like every other immigrant, I came into Canada and settled in Calgary a few years ago and one of the many challenges I faced was coming to downtown area, especially during winter periods. Apart from the stress of locating a convenient free parking or walking from one street to the other, you know, a snowy and extremely cold day, you know, posed a much bigger challenge. While trying to escape the chilly day on one of such days, I stumbled upon the skywalk as I was coming back from the University of Calgary asking School of Business in downtown Calgary. Now, unknowingly to me, as I walked from one building to the other, exiting and entering different streets, and before you could see Jack Robinson, I'd walk a mile, free of black eyes and snow cold bites. So, if you're like me back then, you haven't had the opportunity of experiencing the Plus 15 Skywalk system, and have a need to be in downtown area for business or pleasure, then this information is your weapon against the colds and snow bites during winter months. Just like the Calgary Stampede, the Plus 15 are a unique feature of YYC, a rare type of system that hasn't been implemented much in several other places of the North American continent. This enclosed system is constantly monitored to ensure pedestrians enjoy comfortable temperatures regardless of Calgary's unpredictable weather conditions. These indoor passages keep downtown workers warm during winter seasons and start to connect businesses all over downtown in an efficient manner. After spending some good number of times at the Calgary Archives and conducted a series of researches 
within the Calgary municipality and online, I'll be telling you some victimidocal cool facts you need to know about Plus 15. Cool fact number one, the Plus 15 Skywalk system was the brainchild creation of Arod Anand in the 1960s. Fact number two, the name Plus 15 comes from the fact that these walkways were built with the bottom 15 feet above the street below them. Fact number three, it's so amazing that I'm standing right here and the first ever Plus 15 that was constructed in Calgary. This Plus 15 connects the West End Hotel and the Calgary Place together and it was constructed and opened to the public first in 1973. Fact number four, as I mentioned earlier, this skywalk system spanned over 18 kilometers, 11 miles of pathways consisting of more than every three interconnecting bridges. And guess what? We're still counting. I love cargo. Fact number five, it would be foolhardy to have the London buses the double-decker buses in London roads here in Calgary because they would never fit under the plus 15. Fact number six, if you love to take long walks like I do, then trust me, from Eclair to the Calgary Belt Line, that is due north to south, you will have traveled between 2nd Avenue and 10th Avenue Southwest. Fact number seven, one can also travel due east to west between McLeod Trail Southeast and 8th Street Southwest, also without taking a step outside if you so much desire to do so.